Although deep learning techniques offer powerful opportunities for AI applications, the development of these complex models can be very challenging, especially when working with unstructured data like images. Dataiku's built-in visual tasks for image classification and object detection make computer vision use cases accessible to more users. In this project, our goal is to detect defects in a manufacturing process. We started with folders containing images of the metal parts, including examples of both good and defective casting. Here are some examples of what the defects look like. Note that if we didn't already have labeled data, we could have used Dataiku's built-in labeling task, which helps teams annotate mass quantities of images for machine learning purposes. From these folders, we first created a dataset containing metadata about each image, its parent folder, and its defect status, which we'll use as the target variable. Let's launch a lab analysis and select image classification. We'll specify our target variable and input images and choose a name for our visual analysis. As with other machine learning models you develop using Dataiku's visual interface, we'll first visit the design tab. Here, we see the target classes and images we specified for the task and can browse examples of images in each of our two classes. A variety of cutting-edge, pre-trained models are available to use as a starting point from which fine-tuning on your data will occur. Dataiku can even automatically adapt the number of layers to thaw and fine-tune based on your dataset size, if you so choose. Keep the default values for optimization, training, and the evaluation metric, or modify any settings to your preference. With computer vision tasks, it's common to perform data augmentation prior to training in order to increase the number and diversity of training samples. The Data Augmentation tab makes it easy to generate new variations of your images with color shifts, geometric flips and rotations, or cropping effects. When we're ready to train, activate GPUs if available to accelerate runtimes. Let's have a look at the results of this experiment. On the main page, as our model was being trained, we could see the accuracy, the metric we optimized for, rising across each subsequent epoch, and the log loss decreasing. Diving into the model itself, we see a summary page, and an interactive confusion matrix, where we can inspect the images with type 1 and type 2 errors. In the performance section, we can review curves for calibration, and ROC, and a density chart to examine the shape of and separation between the predicted probabilities for each class. You can even do interactive what-if analysis to see what the model will predict for a specific image or group of images. For example, in this folder, I have a handful of images, some with defects and some without. When I drag and drop them into this tool, they are live scored by the model. Happily, our model correctly identified all the ones with defects out of this bunch. When you've chosen your final model, use Dataiku's familiar framework to deploy this deep learning model to the flow, serve it in production using automated scenarios or API services, and maintain and govern it over its lifecycle. Go farther on advanced computer vision use cases with built-in visual deep learning in Dataiku.